Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss another model on multi server queuing model. This model is the extension of model 4 which I had already discussed. This is the fourth model which I had already discussed in the previous video. This model is the extension of this one. Okay, here there is finite queue and in the previous model we had assumed that there is infinite queue or unlimited waiting area for customer. Now in this model we will assume that there is finite waiting area for the customer. So here in this model the finite area of the customer that is finite capacity of the system is denoted by n or k. Okay? And the multiple servers are denoted by S or C. Okay. Friends, I had already discussed this model in Hindi. If you want to watch in Hindi, I had provided link in the description. And before discussing this model, first of all, I will suggest to you, please go through model 4. I had discussed model 4 in detail. This model is similar to model 4. The only change is in the capacity of the system that is finite waiting area for customer. Okay. First of all, I will discuss what type of question are being asked in the examination related to this model. Obtain steady state equation for model MMS and FCFS or you can be asked by MMSK model or MMCK model. Okay. And find PN and P0. Or you may be asked obtain the steady state equation for a solution for the model MMS and FCFS or MMSK model or MMCK model. Okay. The time production obtained the mean queue length. Okay. Average number of customer in the system and the average waiting time in the system and in queue respectively. Okay. Now let us proceed. As in the previous model, if there are n customer in the screening system at any point in time, then the following two cases may appear. Okay. Here S represents number of servers and N represents number of customer. The first case is if number of customer are less than number of server. Okay. In this case, there will be no queue and S minus N servers will not be busy. Okay. And the combined service rate will be mu n that is n mu when n is less than s okay now the second case in this model is if n is greater than or equal to s and less than or equal to n here n is the maximum capacity of the system then all the servers will be busy okay and maximum number of customer in the queue will be n minus s you can replace this n by capital n also okay then combined service rate will be lambda n is equal to lambda when n is less than or equal to n that is the customer will arrive until there is space available for the customer it is the maximum available space for the customers okay and when the number of customer are less than the space available so in this case there will be arrival of customer when the space will be full okay so in this case there will be no customer permitted no customer will arrive so lambda n will be zero okay now this is same to the previous model mu n is equal to n mu when n is less than n okay or n is less than number of servers and s mu when s is less than or equal to n and less than or equal to n okay now as in the previous model similarly in the first step we obtain the system of differential difference equation okay now for the case when number of customer are less than number of server or n is less than n when the number of customer are less than the maximum capacity of the customers okay so in this case this is same to the previous model number of customer in time t plus del t which is equal to p n of t 1 minus lambda del t 1 minus n mu p okay because here it will come lambda because n is strictly less than n we had assumed that n strictly less than n okay 
this is same to the previous model so i will not explain here i will simply just write you can write from there okay by pausing the video and then this is my first equation for n strictly less than s greater than 1 and n less than n okay now similarly when n is strictly less than n but less than r equal to number of servers okay sorry greater than r equal to number of servers so in this case this is similar to the model previous model okay so i will just write here i will not explain here because i had already explained in the previous model go through previous model okay p dash n of t this will equation number two okay now here i will di discuss the additional equation which is being formed in this model so this is p dash n of t when i will take n is equal to capital n that is when the number of customers are maximum to the capacity okay so in this case from equation number two here pn here the number of customer are full so in this case from lambda is equal to n here when n is greater than or equal to k uh, n okay in this case lambda n is equal to zero okay so in place of this lambda i will write zero so that is i will get minus s mu pn of t okay similarly similarly s mu pn plus one now the probability of n plus one customer at time t we had assumed that the maximum customers are n okay so the probability of greater than n customer will be zero okay so probability of n plus one customer will be zero so in this case i will get zero term here okay so i didn't write zero here i will simply proceed to the, this this term okay now here the number of customer are less than or equal to n sorry strictly less than n that is n minus one okay so in this case that is n less than or equal to n okay so in this case lambda n will be lambda okay so i will write lambda here lambda into n minus 1 into t okay so p dash n of t will be this one so equation number one equation number two and equation number three are required differential difference equation okay now we will proceed sorry i didn't told you equation number three this is similar to the previous model when n is equal to zero and as in the previous model that is in force model we had written i will just write here okay now we will proceed to the step number two in step number two obtain the system of steady state equation now this is quite similar to the previous model i will just write here now pn is independent of t okay the rate of change of pn of t is considered to be zero so limit t tends to infinity pn of t is equal to pn limit t tends to infinity p dash n of t is equal to zero n zero one two up to n this is finite here okay now i will put p dash n is equal to zero in the one two three and star value okay and make these values independent of t make these terms independent of t okay so from equation number one equation number two equation number three and equation number star i will get these steady state equation and for the star i will get star one equation okay this i had put to zero and these terms i will make independent of t okay so these terms are required steady state difference equation okay now i will try to solve this steady state difference equation now as in the previous model okay from equation number four i will find p1 lambda by mu p0 n is equal to zero by putting n is equal to one okay i will get p2 and when n is equal to 2 i will get p3 proceeding proceeding in the similar way okay i will get pn 1 upon n factorial lambda upon mu raised power n into p0 here it is finite okay now for this is for n minus 1 okay now for pn 1 upon s factorial n s minus s okay lambda upon mu raised power n p0 this is from equation number 6 okay here it is s so i had replaced n by s okay now these are the required for pn and pn when n is less than s and n is greater than or equal to s okay now 
I will find the value of P0. Now these steps are different from previous model. So watch them carefully. Now we know that sum of probabilities is equal to 1. So n goes to 0 to n is divided into 0 to s minus 1 and s to n. Okay. Now the probability of 0 to so here I will write pn 1 upon n factorial lambda upon mu raised power into p0 when n is less than s and n minus 1. Okay. So s minus 1 the pn and s to n to n. Okay. Sorry. n goes to s to n. Then I will write 1 upon s factorial n sorry s raised power n minus s 1 upon mu raised power n into p0. Okay. Now, after putting these two values here, okay, then we know that rho is equal to lambda upon s mu. So, in order to make here s into mu, I will multiply and divide by s raised power n. So, here I will multiply by s raised power n and divide by s raised power n, okay. Similarly, I will here s raised power n and s raised power n, okay, is equal to 1. Now, lambda upon mu raised power n, this is equal to rho. So, I will write rho raised power n upon n factorial here s p raised power s okay here s raised power n and s raised power n will be cancelled and s raised power minus s it will come into numerator and s into rho here lambda upon mu raised power s sorry lambda upon s mu it will become rho and rho raised power n so rho raised power n okay after that i will put n is equal to s okay so it will become s rho raised power s okay and s factorial here it is s factorial okay now i had taken one term out of the submission okay so the n goes to s to n it will become n goes to 0 to n minus s okay into rho raised to power n okay is equal to 1 now we know that this is finite gp so the sum of finite gp is n plus 1 minus rho raised to power n upon 1 minus rho. Here n is n minus s. So I will write n minus s plus 1. Okay. Upon 1 minus rho. So P0 will be after transforming this to right hand side. And this will become inverse. Okay. So this is the inverse. Okay friends. So this is the value of P0. And these are the value of Pn. When n is less than s n is less than or equal to capital N and greater than S and N is greater than N. These are the required values. Okay friends. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.